Hi, this is Rob, and this is Becoming a Creator. Today, I'm going to talk about a video editing app for your mobile phone called CapCut. CapCut, formerly known as ViaMaker, is an application owned by ByteDance, which may sound familiar because ByteDance is the owner of TikTok. This is important, and I will tell you later on why this is important. Now, CapCut is one of my favorite video edit applications for mobile phones. If you are doing, if you are creating content uh, in a sort of semi-professional manner or even in an amateur manner, and you post your content regularly on any platform like Facebook or YouTube, you may be used to Premiere Pro or Luma Fusion that gives you more flexibility and options. You wouldn't think initially in using an application like CapCut. However, when you are creating for mobile platforms like TikTok, CapCut offers numerous advantages. Now, what is the main advantage of CapCut? The main advantage is related to an existing bug, or maybe it's not a bug, but something that happens in TikTok. So if you are a creator focused on TikTok, hear me here. You may have experienced in the past a situation in which you publish a video, it seems that it's posted, and suddenly it has zero views. And you are wondering why. And many people remain on that stage forever. They only know that the video doesn't have any views. So what you try to do is deleting it and reposting it, uploading it, modifying it a bit, and mostly nothing works. Now, one of the main discoveries about what are the reasons this is happening is that when people edit video in third-party applications like Premiere or LumaFusion, this tends to happen. And the hypothesis behind is that ByteDance is trying to prevent people from using copyrighted material they don't have the rights to use or to incorporate to their own creations. So the typical example is like you are using Premiere, you have a nice video and suddenly you use background music that you don't have a license for. So in order to deter from that type of behavior, when TikTok detects that you have used that third party video editor, it blocks the distribution. So you will have noticed that while the video appears as post in your own phone, if you check a phone from your friend or from whoever you have nearby, the video it doesn't appear as published for them. And this is a huge advantage of using CapCut because it seems that this restriction doesn't apply to their own product. Every single video that you edit through CapCut goes live and doesn't suffer from that type of bug. And that is the main advantage, to be honest. But that is not the only reason you would like to use CapCut. Actually, the features and the functionalities are pretty good for a mobile app. So let's see some of them. The first of them is focus on music. So let me show you the initial take that I, I shot it and recorded. it. What you're going to see is a pretty renowned theater here in Singapore where I'm based. Now, you can integrate music there. And one of the advantages of CapCut is that actually many of the songs that you already know, know from TikTok are already pre-populated there. Now, what are the bad news? The bad news is that you don't really have a proper functionality search function. So if you are looking or thinking a specific song, it may be there, but you might not be able to find it. Downside of it. Now, on the top of music, you can also incorporate sound effects. Wind, laughing, if you are creating comedy. In our case, we have selected a clip. The next
next thing that you can do is actually add a, not only sound effects, but video effects. You can overlap text. Um, it's pretty seamless. Uh, you can do pretty much the same that you will be doing in your TikTok native app, like selecting the font, selecting the color, if you want to incorporate bubbles, if you want to move it around the screen, everything is there. And also you can add GIFs. Many of the GIFs that you are used to, to incorporate are there. Now, what you can also do with CapCut, and this is one of my favorite features, is that you can create a window with a different video. So instead of stitching the video to an existing one in TikTok or to have that splitted window in which like things are happening with two different videos, you can actually create your own window and upload a different video material that fits there and you want to interact with. What else? Video effects, of course. And that is pretty much it. It takes, it took us like a couple of minutes. It has new music. It has a new feeling, new video effects, and you just export it. Now, things that the app could be doing better or that uh, could integrate in the future. In my opinion, mainly one, and it's related to music. The search functionality, as I mentioned before, is non-existent, but on the top of that, something that I would love the app to do is that allowing you to upload your own music. So for instance, I have multiple MP3s that are copyright free, royalty free, and I can include in my videos, uh, but the app doesn't detect them. It's asking me to sync up with iTunes on my PC or in my MacBook Pro in this case, and then sync that with my own uh, music app in the phone. It's very complicated. I haven't been able to make it work. So the option of including your own files already existing in your phone will definitely give an edge and an advantage over their competitors to CapCut. Other than that, pretty happy, very easy to use, and definitely I'm gonna keep uh, using it for my TikTok videos. And that is pretty much it. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe below. I really appreciate your support, and see you in the next uh, episode of Becoming a Creator. Have a great day or night wherever you are.